I would get in huge trouble with the building manager, Paul. Oh, my hands up, Paul. Oh. Um, sorry, Krista, I'm so sorry. I just had this great idea, and okay, maybe it wasn't such a great idea. Maybe it wasn't my best one. I mean, not even not your best idea. I mean, this is hands down the worst idea that you've ever had on any of these light bulb moments. Oh, I mean, it's so dangerous. Oh, okay, okay, Krista, we get the picture. Where's Al? I mean, this could be so much fun. <sighs> okay, put the matches down, no fight. Good. I mean, why did you even want to start a fire in here anyways? The heating's on, it's nice and toasty. Um, of my Bible reading. <laughs> what were you even reading in the Bible? Here. Oh, Exodus 3. Moses and the burning bush, right? Yeah. That's the one. Did you know much about Moses? Oh, he had an epic life. So, I was reading about it, and he was a baby, and it was put in a basket, sent out the now. Um, but he was brought into Pharaoh's house, perhaps, um, but it went wrong. He killed a man, oh, and so he had to flee uh, into the desert, and basically he like started hanging around with guys with sheep, uh, kept shepherd, uh, like you do in the Bible, and then God decided that he needed to speak to Moses, and so he did it through a bush. I am. secret investigation to learn how God speaks to us, right? Yeah. So, I was thinking I could start a fire and God would start speaking and he'd say, oh. <laughs> Interesting choice there. Yeah, but it'd be like so cool and awesome, wouldn't it? Uh, I mean, awesome, yeah. I think I'd be a little bit scared. I mean, I think you might find a Christmas-sized hole in the wall over there. Yeah, mm, maybe a little scary, but also totally awesome. <laughs> I mean, you know that you don't need a fire for God to speak to you, right? Um, yeah, possibly. I, I mean, yeah, so he did it one time for Moses, but really that was just to get his attention. You know, it was a miracle. Huh? What's a miracle? Well, a miracle is something totally unexplainable, but really good, that God does, that we just can't understand through normal science and all of that. So for Moses, it was the burning bush. And that even wasn't the weird part, because he lived in the desert. So sometimes plants get really dry and the sun is just so hot and so bushes will catch on fire. But the thing about this bush is that it wasn't burning up. So like, it wasn't getting black or falling apart or any of that. Oh. And Moses saw this and he was so curious. He walked on over and then God spoke to him right from the middle of the bush. He was like, Moses. Um, yeah, but you said we didn't need the fire. Well, yeah, because God wants to speak to us. And he might do something totally unexplainable to get our attention. But if you're already a friend of his, he probably already has your attention. So all you have to do is make some time, maybe go on a walk or find somewhere to sit down where not much is going on. And just ask God to speak to you. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds fair. Thanks, Krista. You know what? I think we may all need to start thinking about how Moses felt while he while this happened. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. Cool. Let's go do that. <laughs>